This is Great Northern Maine. Willem! We need more wood! The average winter temperature is 18 degrees below zero. Having gathered local debris, John Lurie and Willem Dafoe construct a shelter to protect themselves against the severe elements. That'll be the bottom, right? Yeah. These are real men doing real things. What you think is... You all right? Can you hold it? Uh -huh. Is that sturdy enough? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Right on, around it. Ah. Hi, John. I knew the window was a good idea. <laughs> Come on in, Mr. Yeah. Okay. I guess we got to put the roof on next, huh? Yeah. I guess we'll put the, we'll put the roof on and we'll put the, the, the cloth up. It's getting dark, so we got to get moving, okay? Yeah. Okay. After completing the roof and putting up fabric as insulation, they settle in for a good night's sleep. John, should I be worried about this? I think you made the coffee overflow. No, no, that's not what it is. Is it's... that ice is coming up? Yeah, I think we're getting melt here. Really? Yeah. From the stove? Must be. But it's not so bad. I mean, the ice is so thick. No, it's OK. I mean, it's safe, but we're going to get wet. No, I think you mean after we go to sleep? Well, maybe it's OK. You're going to get wet first. Are you? Well, yeah, you take off those things and then... But I think in the sleeping bag it'll get warm. You know what? What? If you're really... Yeah, really <laughs> what? If you're really, really cold... Yeah? What do you think about... <laughs> I don't want to hear this terrible <laughs> idea. About, like, zipping our sleeping bags together. <laughs> make you nervous? <laughs> you're making me really nervous. You know what? I get kind of sweet when it comes to bedtime. <laughs> Using the dangerous and unreliable power auger, they drill holes through the thick ice. Here, John is setting a fish trap. This is nice out here. Well, yeah. you want to keep it close to your body, too. Look. Huh? Because they can be dangerous. Right. <laughs> you know, I just heard the, oh, I read in the paper about this guy who, who was using an auger, and he cut off both his arms. I and then he, you know the story? And he yes. had to drive himself to the hospital using his head. <sighs> is he OK? <laughs> well, he doesn't have any arms. They couldn't put them back on? I don't know. I thought they sewed them back on. They sewed his arms back on. He, how did he bring his arms into the car? Any guy that can drive himself <laughs> to, a, to a hospital using his mouth can probably get it together to so. put a couple of arms, wrap them up in some newspaper, and put them in the back right, am seat. Am I going to get sprayed here? Do I have to go far away? No, you're OK. All right. I have stuff all over my face. No. No. I 
I think the best thing. <laughs> yeah. The best thing about ice fishing. What? Is it's filled with possibility. I love the idea that any second I can turn around and six flags could go up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. An 11 inch brown trout is pulled from the icy depths. Unfortunately, it is under the legal limit and must be released. Do they eat moose? What? Do they, people eat moose? Yeah, I think so. I've never had it. I was, the last time I was in Maine, though, I visited a friend and he pulled a bunch of, uh, he said, do you like deer meat? And I said, yeah. I mean, I said, I'm not a big meat eater, but I, I occasionally I like to eat meat and I don't mind, you know, game your meat like venison. No. And he brought all these steaks out. They were wrapped in white paper very crudely and then written on with like a pen that said, you know, deer meat. I said, it did, you know, it didn't look like it was from a regular butcher. And I said, what happened? And he said, well, I butchered it. And I said, e yeah, but did you shoot it? He said, no, wife hit it with a car. <laughs> he said, didn't spoil the meat though. <laughs> Jeez, I've never been that cold in my whole life. What are we gonna do tonight? We're gonna have to talk about how hungry we are. Now, if we go to sleep early, we can just get, we can really, if we really get fishing early tomorrow, I think we'll be, you know, we'll catch some fish. The question is, what did we do wrong today? <laughs> well, I mean, we had a lot of trouble. I think we have, I think it would be all right. Maybe we shouldn't. Man, if you, listen, if we catch another fish that's under the limit, I'm certainly not gonna let it go. Right I'm going to eat it right there, right? When it comes out of the water, I'll be eating it before you, you can take the hook out. John? I feel a little claustrophobic. John? What? What? You couldn't do this without me, and you know it, right? <laughs> Why would I do this without <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do this without you? No, I, I, that wasn't the question. I said you couldn't do it without me. I said, why would I do this without you? Day three, after a night's sleep on the frozen ah. lake, a game of catch improves the circulation. Oh, beautiful. He comes up with a ball. There's a problem. Yeah. Hang on. Huh? Let me try a couple. Let me try a couple more times. Ah. Are you still real hungry? Yes. Why would I be less hungry? What? Why would I be less hungry? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want, do you want some of those uh, peanut butter crackers? You have some right here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, cheese on cheese. Oh, uh, you have peanut butter? Cheese on cheese. Cheese on cheese. Oh! <laughs> Why did I know that was going to happen? <laughs> did you ever fish with cheese when you were a kid for panfish? Uh, no. Yeah. There's a fish with, for, for bread. With bread. Yeah. For... 
Catfish. I think we shouldn't have let those two go, you know. If the game warden is gonna come and give us a ticket, what is he gonna do, give us a ticket? There's something to be said for catch and release. Yeah, but we're gonna starve to death if we don't catch a fish. No, we won't, we'll catch some fish. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> <laughs> They're frozen already. Look at that. There's all water in my gloves now. Am I gonna die? No. Just put them on? Um, you got a liner? No. You want, uh, I've got a liner. You want a liner oh, on that man, one hand? It's no good. Huh? You want a liner on that one hand? Yeah, give me something. I'm going to... You're in trouble? Yeah. Just give me your gloves. Just like him to build a fire. Right? That's the one where he freezes to death, right? I don't remember it so well, because I read it when I was a boy, but... He steps in the water and then finally he waits for the wolf and I think he kills the wolf and the way he gets circulation back in his feet is he cuts the wolf open and sticks his feet. Inside the wolf? In the, yeah. So how long can that be good for? Uh, good enough till the end of the story. <laughs> I can have no feeling in my hand, man. I gotta go in for a minute, all right? Okay. Can you watch my rock? For me and my gal, yes, ooh, ooh, ooh. the fish are biting for me and my gal. <laughs> huh? I'm finally fishing. I'm just fishing now. Okay. What? You know, I'm just fishing. This is like the first time I've really been fishing now this whole time. You know what? We're tracking too much snow in here. I know, but I kind of gave up. Really? Yes. When my hand, when I got, when my, I got my hand and my glove filled with water. Yeah. Uh, I, I couldn't move it. I panicked. You know what you're supposed to do when your hand gets covered with water and in temperature this cold? You're supposed to put it under Some, somebody, else's somebody else's armpits, yes. not your armpits. I had forgotten that. I just panicked when that happened. Well, John, we're friends. Anytime your hand gets cold, you can stick it in my armpit. Well, you know, and I, I hope I was you, a, I was you a little, do the same for me. I was a little nervous about telling you that because now I'm afraid that you're going to just constantly be sticking your hand in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Day four. Hey, John! John, there's a flag out there. <laughs> All right, you, you take it okay, up. Okay, yeah. What, what do you feel like? Good He's size? Off. He's off. Good size? He's off. He's off.
Oh. You know what? What? I gotta go in pretty soon. Yeah, I do too. My let's toes. Let's and my go, feet. let's go, let's go. I'm just worried about being in the cold weather and not eating anything at all. You know, you know, they say that you burn 4,000 to 6,000 calories just being out in this weather. I thought that was 400 to 600. 4,000 to 6,000. How much is 6,000 calories? It's a lot. Like four hot food Sundays. Or like a couple of pizza so hot then what pizzas. Happens? We haven't eaten anything all day, man. And we don't catch any fish, so it's like we're never going to eat anything. So what are you going to do? Pretend, John. Just pretend you're from like a culture of, of you know, gatherers, and today we've had a lean day, and we're gonna go a little hungry, and then tomorrow it's, uh, we're gonna run into a whole mess of berries and things, and we'll See, be not happy. Not only am I not used to the cold, I'm not used to not eating anything at all, all day. Nothing, well, this nothing. is good for you, then. It's, uh, Why? It should be therapeutic and make you not take those things uh, for granted, right? I don't take those things for granted. Day five, the temperature has dropped to minus 27 degrees. You awake? Jeez. Go on. Hmm? It's really cold in here. The situation is growing serious. John and Willem have consumed only melted snow since their supply of cheese crackers ran out two days ago. They refuse to give up. However, they pay the price of their persistence by enduring nights of delirium. Day seven, exhausted, raw courage alone brings them out to clear the fish traps. Day eight, suffering from malnutrition and due to the severe cold in the presence of gale force winds, the fishermen are forced to stay inside their hut. Their supplies exhausted, they now face a life-threatening situation. Day 11. Despite their delirium, a break in the weather allows them to resume fishing. Start cooking! <laughs>
Jim. I'm really glad you asked me to go fishing. Why? I really enjoyed myself. On January 19th, John Lurie and Willem Dafoe died of starvation. Fishing with John. Fishing. 